Hi everyone, welcome back into the Academy for another sub swing this time. Um, yeah, so Trev, thank you very much for sending your swing in to me. Um, I've had a little look at it. Um, if anyone else, by the way, just before I start, would like to, for me to have a look at their swing, to send them in via um, the, in, the Academy's Instagram or Facebook page, direct message me. And uh, yeah, I'll be more than happy to have a look at you and, and do a video for you, if you don't mind me um, putting it on the channel for everyone to see. So Trev, yeah, so I had a little look, so thank you very much, by the way, for sending them in. And uh, you've mentioned you haven't really got any ailments that's holding you back and restricting you. Um, and you've kind of plateaued and got to a level that you kind of can't get through. Got to be very careful. As any sort of coach has to be careful, we can't bombard you with too much. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of talk you through kind of the causes and effects about why things are happening. Because there's certain things, Trevor, in your swing that is happening to the club and you can't really do a lot about because you're kind of putting the club in a place where to create power, you're gonna to have to try and do a little bit of kind of wrong compensations. And, um, but I think there's some improvements to be made without trying to upset the apple cart too much. That's the kind of skill with it, to be able to kind of give you a little bit that you're not gonna kind of fall off the planet a little bit. Obviously I'm gonna play a few swings for everyone to see on the right hand side, Trev as well. Um, you can see there your posture is okay. I've had a little zoom in your grip. Your grip looks actually okay as well. Um, but the, one of the major things I see is at the top of your backswing, your right el elbow is way flat and behind you. So you can see your left arm is quite across you. You can see your left, uh, your right shoulder quite prominent. More importantly, with this club, what's called deep trev, is on the way down, this club and your hands, which you, you actually don't come over the top, which I don't want you to, by the way, is on the way down, your kind of, your right elbow is so stuck behind you, buddy, that from here, from the front view, you can see it's really high. Sorry, I can't really try and get there, Trev, actually. But like to create power, because it's so deep and, and kind of back behind your body, you're kind of outside and you're really wide. You can see how far out your right elbow is from the front view as well. And then from there, you can't stop it, Trev, to be fair, is layer of speed on that and the club's gonna catch up and your footwork's okay, but it's tr you're trying to get forward, but it's gonna have to stop. And you kind of, you can see the club catching up with your hands and you kind of can't release it. You can't release it. The club's casting too much. Your right elbow's on top too much. Club's casting and you're kind of having to hold it a little bit. And then from the behind view, you kind of your chicken wing look as well. So <laughs> bear with me, bud, that sounds a lot. And there's a lot of that hopefully can kind of be eradicated by, you know, changing the first domino, like we all say, Trev, changing that first domino and then hopefully the, um, the impact of that and the effect of that will hopefully help the others as well. Not all of it, you might have to give it a little bit of a reminder every now and again, but I'll hopefully give you some some little tips and drills to do. You can see you've got a, uh, what's it called, a net in your back garden, which is great. Um, so let's get on to it. So first thing I'd like you to try and do, Trev, is to be able to create a little bit more hinge in the backswing. So at the top of the backswing, what you're looking for, you're looking from, from the behind view, is you're looking for your, your kind of your hands, middle of your hands to be above your, right shoulder here instead of right round here. And you can see my elbow, because of a little bit of a hinge, Trev, and if you want to work on a bit of hinge, you're just kind of moving your hands up and down without moving your elbows, really. So you're really trying to wake up your kind of the back tendon there. Because what you want to do from about here, so you can see when you make your backswing and you start off, you kind of get your hands away from you a little bit, and it looks a little bit like that. Over moving a little bit and getting this kind of look you're in a good position from the front view, to be fair. But from behind view, it's way too flat like that. Can't really get there, sorry, old boy. So, hinge, create a bit of hinge. Halfway back, you can stop, check, look back, and then do a little bit of rehearsals at the top. So at the top of the backswing, like I said, your, your club wants to be, hands want to be above your right shoulder, and your elbow just wants to be sitting out in front of you a little bit more, see that? Now, if you can get in that position a little bit more, Trev, your arms will be able to drop in front of you a little bit more efficiently, all right? Instead of, because remember, this club being back here, 
and your arms being deep, I mean, is you're, you're over and wide and, the, and your right elbow's way above your left arm and then it's catch up time with the club after that. So feeling like this right arm is folding more in front of you is gonna be a real help. But remember the main ingredient behind that is hinge. If you haven't got any hinge of your wrists, it's gonna be really difficult. And an experience I had years and years ago is, I, is someone noticed that, Trev, in my swing actually. I was a bit deep. So you try to get my right elbow out in front of me. It can actually hurt still. We're talking over oh, 20 years ago now, I think. I tried to get my right elbow in front of me, but I didn't have the right hinge. So I was a bit slower than the hinge. I was trying to be, I was quite wide, I think. And I was trying to keep my right elbow and not to go that way. And it really hurt. It kind of pulled a muscle in my right elbow, my right shoulder. So the moral of that story is the, the um, ingredient behind keeping it nice and wide and in front of you at the top of the backswing is hinge. Get this club hinging into you. Getting this, you can see my left, I don't know if you can see that everyone, but my left wrist, I've got some kind of cup there. Now I'm looking a little bit more, that's a little bit exaggerated, but you can see now from the behind view, I bet, is my right elbow is not behind my shoulder. It's right out in front of my body. And then instinctively, 20% of that, automatically I mean, your right elbow will be closer to your body coming down and more under as well. That's going to create natural lag trip and then you've got something to release after that. So how can we layer that into your swing hitting a golf ball? So I think the hinge motion, I would do little breakdowns to start with, little half back swings. Do not look at, the, at your hands while you do this. Feel, feel it in your hands, feel the club without you moving your hands too much. What I mean by that is you're not lifting your arms up, you're just doing it by the wrist motion. Introduce a little bit of twist with that and then you're there. And then you can do little breakdowns on the way down. So you just, a little pump action, you've got that, you can tell my right elbow is in front of my shoulder. I know I'm not looking behind me to try and find it. And then from there you can do little exercises of just trying to get this club and get this elbow into your body. Get the elbow touching your body. And that's a great exercise. You're not doing a lot with your body yet. In terms of twisting, you're just dropping. So you can see that now, whatever I've got at the top of the backswing in terms of angle, I can now, I've got now some natural lag as well. And then from there you can release it. But the release will come in time, Trev. I'm pretty sure of it. But remember, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if you're caster and over the top, you're going to hold on and there's going to be the chicken wing. If you're now creating a little bit more angle and your elbow's in a bit more, guess what? You can't hold on to it because it's going to go right, right. You're going to have to now get rid of it, which means getting the club angled and then back into the ball. So it's like that release action with your body, Trev. Uh, with your hands, I mean, sorry is getting your hands rolling, bang, bang. You can see there, now you're gonna create some power down there without you doing too much and putting in all this work without too much zip down the bottom compression. Sounds complicated. Remember, and I always try and give people kind of a order of importance, Trev, and hopefully in a few weeks time, whatever, you can send me an update and I can do another video, et cetera, et cetera is order of importance is hinge. If you can create a bit less deepness at the top of your backswing, and a little bit shorter arm swing, and your elbow, right elbow, more importantly, is out in front of you for it to drop into your body and not away from your body, naturally, speed's gonna happen anyway. That's the only thing you need to do. But as a word of caution, if you're coming down slightly differently, but you're gonna have to get rid of it because remember your old patterns coming down, you're gonna have, to, you, were, you had to hold on to it, it's not your fault. But now if you're in a slightly better position, a bit more laggy coming down, you're gonna have to roll these wrists over and release this club past your body without you holding on to it. So remember release is your right hand going from palm up to palm down. 
hand only. Obviously your arm will get pulled along for the ride. You're not doing it with your shoulder. So head nice and still, and you're just doing little wrap overs like that. You can do that with a club without hitting a ball, by the way. So little roll overs, see that? But remember, you've got to be in a position to roll over. If you do your old down swing and roll over, you can hit it left. So the ball's going to tell you. I know it's quite a lot to take in, Trev, but in order of importance, hinge, bud. Get some hinge, get some more, more efficiency in those arms and hands. And a majority of the next effects after that, the dominoes, will take care of themselves. Not all of it, but like I said, if you can improve by 20, 30, whatever percent, then you're halfway there. And the more you practice the correct stuff, and now you know what to look for, so your arms won't be as flat around you, they'll be a little bit more above your head, then you're gonna have a little bit more coming down naturally. Because remember, you're kind of looking to hinge it as soon as your hands kind of pass your right shoe as you look down. You're looking to get this, and you'd rather be this side of the fence and over hinging it, Trev, than under hinging it. Because everyone I see, by the time they get to about here and start thinking about it, it's too late. You get sucked in. So your little barometer, and it looks like you've got a camera set up there, which is great, is at the top of your backswing, you want to be able to still twist your body a little bit, but you're looking for this club to be pretty vertical early. But you're, more importantly, you're looking for angle and width as well. And from the behind view, you're looking for your right elbow to be sitting more in front of you than behind you, okay? And then your hand should be above your shoulder. And then just let it go from there. All right, Trev, so lovely to, it's lovely for me to actually try and help you. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be perfect straight away. Take it easy, take some pace off, take some revs off, revs off the swing. Because remember, if you're hitting it from a different place, it might take a dozen or so shots to get the timing right. Okay, so I look forward to any updates and uh, I wish you well. Thanks, Trev, all the best. And um, we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next sub swings, everyone. Cheerio.